Welcome back to TaxPress. Today, I'm going to be helping you to add an order tracking page into Shopify. It's going to be a really easy process. The very first thing you want to do is to sign into my Shopify. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you don't have claimed a Shopify store yet and then having an actual huge deal for the next month. So now that we have access to the login to the Shopify store, I want to make sure that we have our product added. So inside here, I have the product. And here is a portable blender. We're going to be using this product so we can add an order tracking. So into the upper side, I'm going to go here and look out for the menu. I have the home cat, the catalog, and here I want to enable an order tracking page. So for that, I'm going to just go back into Shopify and add a third party application. To add an order tracking page, you'll need a third party application. So let's go here into the left part of applications. And here what you can do is to look out for order and just type here the search to order tracking in Shopify App Store. So popular options include the track stop, there's the after shipped, the uh, order lookup. So for this tutorial, we can use the after shipped order tracking. Make sure that when you choose an order tracking application comes with a free plan. If it not comes with a free plan, just want to make sure that you have enough budgeting for installing the application. So choose the best app you wanted to, go for install. And here, I'm going to hit now into add applications to install and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. In this case, it's going to be asking you to verify our identity with a confirmation of coding. To get started, it's going to be asking you to uh, log into your store. To make sure this is the organization that we just used to get started, go back into Shopify, go back into the domains, and here it should be appearing the custom domain it was created when you first started with your store. In this case, it could be actually this one. If this one is not available for you, then just go for create another organization. Once the after shift application is installed, you want to open the app from the Shopify administrator dashboard. So you can follow the initial setup with search to configure the app. We will need to connect our shipping careers and set up the tracking notifications. After the ship supports a wide range of careers, making it easier to integrate with your existing shipping setup. Let's go here into let's get started. Now, as you can see, it says import your shipments. To get started, we need to choose how would you like to import your shipments to the tracking dashboard. So let's go here and to connect our store choose Shopify, install the app once again, and just go for continue and open. This one should be sending us back into the application once more, but now we are inside the app with the Shopify tracking uh, product. So you should see that your product should be added directly into the after shipped section and the home pod. So as you can see, we have now the tracked shipment here added. Now, if I type into tracking app, we can see that there's an application that can be helping us to add a tracking application. So I'm going to go for insert a track order with after ship button, the Shopify order confirmation page. Usually, you just need to go back into settings. Inside settings, you can see that we have these elements. Let's go and focus into checkout. I'm going to scroll a little bit down and make sure that we have enabled to show a link for customers to track their order with Shop. There we go. I'm going to close this now. And let's go back into the store section of the after ship. Let's go back now into tracking pages. Now in here, what you can do is to select a template in order to add it into your store. And here I have now an embeamed or a widget element that we can add into a custom page. For example, I have the embeamed anywhere using an iframe. So I have this tracking page iframe code. I can copy this code and add it into a new page. For example, let's go back into Shopify. Let's go into online store. And here, let's go into pages. Inside pages, I'm going to create a new page for my order tracking device. I'm going to go here into add a page. And here into add a page, let's go for title, order, or let's go for track your order. Now into content, just type here the show HTML. If you go back into the after ship, you can look out for a widget element. Now the widget can be helping you to add this directly into a landing page URL. So for example, this is the actual code that we're going to be using. So this is here, my track icon. I can hide the icon. I have the size, let's go for large, aligned to the center and removed the powered by shipping folder. So I have my code number one and I paste the coding. Now what we can do is to view our page to see if these application if this widget has now been successfully added into our store and there we go 
As you can see, we now have an order number, an email, the track element, and tracking number. So what you need to do here is just to make sure that you've just used these two codes in order to add them directly inside here tracking your order. So I'm gonna hit now into save, and we're actually good to go. So you can customize the tracking page later on. You can add additional information later here into the after shipping tracking. You can change the background color, the text color, the icon, parameters, description, or you can just go and focus into your online store, go directly into customization, and make sure this one has not been enabled. Last thing you're gonna hit now into navigation. Main menu, and here into main menu, go for add menu item, and you're gonna go for track my order. After you have successfully done this, let's go into save, and let's go directly into our store so we can make sure that the tracking our order is now available into, into our menu sidebar, which in this case, here it is. I go for track my order and everything is working correctly. So guys, there you have it. A really easy tutorial how we can add this process, this tracking order device into your store. Providing your customer with an easily way to track their orders can significantly improve their shopping experience. So guys, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more great tools, how we can get started into Shopify and much more applications. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Hopefully, you can see you next time.